Welcome back again to College Days 101. In today's video, I will tell you how to find an internship. I will tell you two main methods, traditional and the new age digital methods. And I will uh, tell you the steps and I will give you the exact guidance on how you can find an internship or how you can land an internship. So without any further ado, let's start the video before finding an internship you need to make sure that you are prepared for the internship and you don't face any hiccups so with preparation what i mean is you need to be prepared with your resume be updated update all your experiences your volunteership if you have worked in an ngo or if you worked in your social club like nss or maybe lead or maybe any other club like Rotaract or Rotary Club where you have done some social work or uh, any other work make sure you are upskilled be clear in which field you want to do internship or what jo job role you would like to explore what role you would internship role you would like to explore so for that you need to get upskilled do the relevant courses be updated with the industry also take part in extracurricular activities and sports be an active part of technical clubs uh, being uh, active in, in all these activities shows that you are an all-rounder you are committed and you have learned some great skills not just technical but also you have great communication skills and this is true that uh, by taking part in all such activities and by being actively involved in clubs inside and outside of the college by developing your hobby and by doing things like debate public speaking or maybe poetry literature drawing etc whichever you like you will be a better person your personality will get developed another most important point is many students don't update their linkedin profile at all most of the students what happens is what at the time of placements they start concentrating on their LinkedIn. no this is a wrong approach you need to focus on your linkedin profile from the very beginning from the first year of your college like your resume update your linkedin profile also and make sure your resume you add your resume on the featured uh, option featured posts or which featured items that you can add on your linkedin profile add your resume there uh, be updated fill all the fields have a nice and professional linkedin profile picture and start making industry connections connecting with alumni from day one itself so now let's start the main video <coughs> okay so the first kind of type of methods are traditional ways so the traditional ways to find an internship number one is through college professors your college professors will know uh, alumni or your seniors super seniors who are into who are in industry who are working as an as a manager or maybe director people who are running a startup so uh, make sure you approach your professors first and they might connect you with your with the alumni or they might be knowing someone in the industry who is looking for interns they might connect you this way or other way to do an internship is if you are interested in research or if you would like to explore the field of research then you can ask your professor who is doing in research uh, who is doing research <coughs> or who has done phd or who is guiding other students in doing phd so you can ask for any fellowship apprenticeship or assist or you can work as an assistant okay this will give you an additional exposure an additional you know angle to look to the world and uh, internships are the best way to explore that's all i can say okay and the next uh, the number two the second method is to visit the companies and startups that are located in your uh, city 
go to their offices with your go to their offices with your resume and make sure you give your resume to the right person need sometimes you will have to wait some sometimes it might be that the companies don't uh, you know like to get interns they don't appreciate you they might just uh, tell you to go away it might happen you may you will face many rejections but it's okay you have to try i with as many companies as possible or you can look for companies which are in your neighboring city all secret hack here is to uh, go to a startup accelerator or any incubation center if you have in your city go there find out who are their founders and just directly talk with them and get an internship okay then third method is to visit local industries like you visited the companies so you may you might be living in a city which is a manufacturing hub or which has many foundries if you are a mechanical engineer or an industrial engineer automotive engineer anything related to such fields which require you to do an internship in the uh, industries or factories you can uh, use this way literally all most of the factories and industries will have hr present on the uh, factory on their factory office or their industries office just go to their office and hand over your resume fourth method will be to visit your family friends relatives or your friends through your mutual friends and their friends you can find internship you can just let them know that you are looking for an internship or you can whatsapp your resume to your uncles aunts or your cousins or your elder brothers and sisters and through them you can find great internships because they might be knowing someone who is working in that particular company in which you would like to do an internship or you can just ask for referrals they might refer you or they might themselves be working there they might be manager supervisor or maybe a director also so this uh, really helps and this is more preferable in traditional method and this is how the mo- this is how most of the people find internships in a traditional way so the next most important uh, method is through job fairs and job melas local city corporation or the local employment exchange maybe any other private organization maybe an ngo might organize a job fair just be in a professional attire and visit there and you have to give your resume to the companies just ask them if they have any open positions for an internship and if they have they will definitely let you know and the last and the sixth point is through your college placements so if you are lucky enough and if you are in a college which offers placement training which offers internship placements you will have to fill a form expressing your interest or get in touch with your training and placement officer and just let him know that you are looking for an internship or maybe a, there uh, many top tier colleges have placement drives for internship just like they have for job drive theek okay? hai so you can do this way otherwise even if your college doesn't do any internship placements then you can just approach to your training and placement officer or placement coordinator who might be a student or your professor you can let them know to uh, refer you somewhere in the companies for internship so this is one way and now moving on to our next segment which is the digital ways or the new age ways to find internships so in the digital ways the first method is through linkedin so don't underestimate linkedin linkedin is the most powerful tool on earth to network professionally as i said earlier you the linkedin is not a game of one or two days you need to be focused and you need to build your network from day one from day one build your network interact with the posts of the companies you would like to work follow their pages be updated with what they are what they are doing comment on their post posts okay contribute to uh, 
any collaborative articles express your perspective and views what you like what you don't like what you would like to do what you are doing you have to post regularly update your network about the courses you are doing and uh, you might consider posting videos of your projects how you d- uh, just post how you did your project what was your approach or you can post like what did you learn today you can post your notes uh, and explain people uh, how that that particular concept is okay there are many ways and uh, doing this you will develop your network and eventually you can connect with your alumni you can connect with people who are working in the company where you would like to work you might l- be having some dream companies you can connect with their managers you can connect with hrs also a pro tip is that connect with uh, hr recruitment firms or hr consultancy firm they will place they will help you in the placement of internship just dm them and ask if there is an open position you can follow this template which you can see on the screen to just dm them linkedin log okay so the next <coughs> method is again related to this only it is about cold emailing and direct reach out you can do direct reach out on linkedin as i said earlier but cold emailing is like you find out the email of the co-founder or founder or ceo cfo cto or maybe a manager of the company where you would like to work be direct and email how you can help the company or just introduce yourself what you do from where from which college are you what all you have learned any projects you have done and ask for any internship position that is open in their company you can find their email ids on their linkedin they might have included their email ids in their description or if you go to see contact info then you can see their contact info if they have enabled that and you can get from mail email ids from there or another good trick is to go to websites like easy leads there are many websites like easy leads you can just type their name and from their database you can get their email although these websites are not free you have to pay to get, uh, the emails but you can get 10 20 or 5 mails for free it's like that many of these websites work on a freemium model okay so this is what you need to keep in mind next important way to get an internship digitally is to rely on websites like internshala which are specifically for internships just like job websites these websites have internship openings posted on them you can apply you can give a test and you can get uh, recruited this works mostly for uh, people who are in it or related field or it cs field but for the people who are in traditional uh, branches of engineering uh, like civil mechanical electrical internships on websites like internshala are less and also be aware of scams okay there are many scamsters sitting on these websites so make sure you verify your employer and go for the internship so apart from internshala there are websites which offer you uh, remote jobs or virtual jobs where you can f- you can just uh, look into their look into these websites explore more and you can find any virtual job or any freelance type job and this is how you can gain some internship experience but make sure you get a certificate uh, for the same while in the interview or af- or even after you get selected you can tell them that you were looking for an internship and you would uh, uh, just request them that uh, to give certificate that they, you have done internship in your in their company and if they agree you are good to go otherwise also you can get to learn some skills which you can apply in some other internship so this is done and the next way the fourth way digitally finding internship is through the job website yes it might sound weird yes it is weird but many job websites have internships posted on them you can go to websites like indeed or nokri.com or you can go for 
founded.com which was formerly monster.com and here you can search for your internships you can search by location uh, you can update your skills and you can uh, you can search by skills also but like linkedin make sure your profile is updated you have your resume uploaded you have filled all the fields you have updated your photo and you need to be active on these websites so that recruiters notice you the fifth method is so social media so you can go to twitter or you can go to instagram and on instagram you might have seen people posting reels for internship if you are really good at at what you do then you can apply for internship and you can get one but it is very difficult to an internship on instagram or twitter you can even post on instagram you can make your id for professional work you can showcase your professional work you can make reels it's i know it's difficult but this is a way you can stand out or you can post on twitter about your projects about your github repositories any coding work any apps that you have made and you can tag the founders who are working in a similar space so they might notice you and you might get an internship or probably a full time job before your college ends this is again a very great and very unconventional way of finding an internship the sixth way is to go to the company's official website go find their career page and there you can search for internships and apply there there is an, uh, no internship uh, vacancy available what you can do is they will have a contact form below there go to contact us fill in your details upload your resume and tell about yourself what you do and why you would like to intern with their company and last but not the least and the most trendy latest way which came uh, which evolved i can say in the lockdown is finding virtual internship i also did a virtual internship which was with forage a website called forage.com although i did it in the field of civil engineering but these are i i would say not as good as going into the office of the company and uh, working there but still you can have some good knowledge it will it will be pre recorded it would be like a, a coursera or udemy course where you have to do some activities and you have to check with the standard uh, results standard files which are uploaded or the videos solution videos and this is how it works apart from the forage.com there are websites like extern.com extern.com has really good tied up with really good companies as paid internships but most require you to be a us citizen or you need to stay in us and other websites are virtualinternships.com and the interngroup.com another good website is from aict but it, here it's very difficult to get an internship it's called internship.aict/india.org all the links will be given in the description so don't worry and niti ayog's website is there you can do internship with niti ayog it's www.niti.goe.in/internship or you can do an internship with big fours and top it companies like google and microsoft Google has a website called buildyourfuture.withgoogle.com where you can find both internships and apprenticeships you can see and apply to whichever you feel confident to so thanks for being there till the end and thanks for watching college days 